Well, the heat has been our main story the last several weeks. One thing that's been put on the back burner for a while is the tropics. Tropical storms and hurricanes have not been in the forecast for quite some time. Fox 44's meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick tells us the reason in this week's WeatherWise. It's been an awfully quiet start to the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, and there's been very little activity for the past three weeks. But while it may seem quiet to us, this, in fact, is relatively normal for this time of year. As we close out the month of July, only three named systems have developed in the Atlantic thus far. Tropical storms Alex, Bonnie, and Colin. And while three systems may not seem like a lot, it's actually relatively average for this time of year. The current 30-year average shows that from mid-July through early August, the average number of tropical systems that should form is about two to three. So you could technically say we're on track of the climatological calendar for 2022. In comparison to this time last year, we already had five named storms, four of which remained as tropical storms, while one upgraded to a Category 1 Hurricane Elsa. So what's up with this year, and why hasn't there been much tropical activity? Well, the big reason is due in part to the Saharan dust, which tends to suppress tropical activity due to its warmth, dryness, and strong winds. The dust dries out the atmosphere, making it nearly impossible for hurricanes to form, or if they've already formed, it suppresses their intensification. Saharan dust activity typically ramps up in the summertime from about mid-June and peaks late June through mid-August. And although the dormant activity in the Atlantic makes us question what's going on, just remember that this is all very normal. The Atlantic tends to ramp up after August 1st with the peak of hurricane season occurring around September 10th. Now, the National Hurricane Center is still predicting an above average hurricane season with 14 to 21 named storms. Of those, 6 to 10 are predicted to become hurricanes, with 3 to 6 of those likely becoming major hurricanes. If you have any questions about this hurricane season or any weather related questions, send them to me, and your question may just be featured on our next WeatherWise segment. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, Fox 44 News.